Hi all, welcome to this brief video on how to lay out cards. Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with what cards are, but I'll show you anyway. So we're going to create an index.html and also a styles.css. Then we're going to go back to the index, exclamation tab, and here we'll put cards layout. Also into here we will do a link to styles.css. Let's uh, save that and open it with live server and you will see nothing obviously because there is nothing in there. Right, rather than use body, uh, in fact why don't we just use body? <laughs> and let's go to the in fact, let's put something in first. That would be a good idea, Neil. Um, let's do card container. Card container. There we go. And in here we'll do card. And I'm going to copy this. Copy. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's put some numbers in there so we know which order they're in and where they are. Just keep things clear. OK, now we can go to the styles. So that's all the HTML we need. A container with six cards in it. Like so. So in here we're going to do the usual thing. We're going to reset. So padding, zero, uh, margin, zero, and box size in border box and what font should we use? I'm gonna use Verdana and those fallbacks. Save. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna style the body so everything's in the middle just for this example. And I'm gonna say display flex and align item center justify content center give it a background color of hmm, what should we do RGB I have actually got one like so okay and if you're wondering why they're at the top and not in the middle, it's because I haven't given the body a, a set height yet, so min height 100 viewport height there you go and just in case height auto and width 100% there we go so now we can move on to the wrapper uh, I beg your pardon, the container. Card container, like so. This is where we're going to get a bit involved in a minute. For now, I am going to use flex. So display flex. And I say for now because not necessarily the right thing to use. So I'm going to give it a min height of 350 pixels. Um, and an adjustable height so it'll be auto I want the width to be 70% of the body and just defy content center for now align item center I'm going to put a gap in between each of those cards and I want to do a border so we can see the container like that and also I'm going to do flex in fact let's leave that out for a minute let's just style up the cards so we can see those I'm going to do display flex 
height, they're all going to be 300 pixels high and they're all going to be 200 pixels wide. And we're going to align item center, justify center, and I'm also going to give box shadow. So let's do zero, zero. So these zeros, X, Y, blur, and let's spell box correctly. Uh, 20 pixels and RGBA. Oh, Dearie me, RGBA. I'm going to say zero, 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 zero point five. Okay, so you can see the box shadow there. Um, as you can see, the widths aren't 200 pixels. And that is because they're all trying to squeeze into this container. So this it's not a min width or a max width, it's just a set width, so it's adapted to this. So what I'm going to do up here in the container is do flex wrap wrap and there you go, they'll wrap. Um, yep, they all look nice and centered and everything right now, but uh, we'll take a closer look at that in a sec. Right, so we've got a box shadow, let's just stick on a border radius. Five pixels. Background colour. I know this isn't really relevant to what we're looking at, but it doesn't hurt to make someone look alright. Font size ten rem uh, and colour RGBA. Oops. There we go, so we know what we're looking at now. So, here. If we adjust this screen, like so, it all stays in the center, but when it wraps, it wraps to the center. It doesn't start the next line at the beginning of the line, as you might expect or want. To me, well, if that's what you're after, then fair enough, but for me, if, if I was going to do this, I'd want them to start on the next line. Say, if I have, I've got a, an application I built which uses cards, and they all start uh, at the beginning of the next line. So, I've pl I have played with this uh, a few times. So, justify content. Say, start. So, as you can see, it pushes them to the left. Okay. So, if you make this screen wider, you can see that there's a gap on the right they're not centered. I know it's not by much but users will pick up, pick that up uh, and it will annoy people. Will it annoy me anyway? So start left is basically the same thing here. Uh, what else could we try? Uh, don't know, space between, save See, MS. So, like I say, I've tried various things. Let's just, um, and it's not impossible to do it with flex. So, I'm going to copy this, bring it down, and say grid. There you go, it's in a single line. <laughs> it's in the centre, yes, but... Um, hmm. Anyway, um, what do we want to do? Height is auto, min height 350, yes. G keep them there, keep that there, keep that there, keep that there. So, we basically want to add on to this. Uh, what we want to do is use a grid property, uh, should we say, called grid 
template columns and we want to use this repeat and in there the first argument is going to be auto fit and then in the second one we can do min max so you can have a minimum width of the card a maximum width um, but we want to do 200 pixels minimum and 200 pixels maximum save and there you go they all stay centered and when they wrap they start at the beginning of the new line And that is basically it. I'll leave that there. So um, if you want to download this, use that, uh, then by all means do. This will be in my GitHub repo, which I'll link down below. Um, but yeah, I, I was scratching my head over this for quite some time. So I thought, I'll let you guys know so you don't have to think as hard and as long as I did, because Grid is, is a really handy... Um, it's a really handy way of of doing things when flex just can't. I mean, some people prefer grid over flex, some flex over grid, but um, each um, has their role to play. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I welcome comments as well. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.